Today we are opening more viewer mail and mail from Alex Simo. What's up guys, we're back with another viewer mail video. First we do have a quick giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, let me know your favorite piece of mail in here. There's some pretty good stuff. Let's get into it. First off, we have a card. It's a thank you card. I would love a signed Petite Moth, if you don't mind, and my Chicka Lattes. Check them out. So we've got Pequeno Moth and Shrek here. Dear Ruxin, I'm writing this to you to thank you for the amazing content on Yu-Gi-Oh. I love your huge openings like your Ghost Hunt Hunt openings or like your Maximum Crisis openings. I hope one day to send you PAX cards. By the way, if you remember from one of your Ghost Rare Hunt videos, I was the one that Absolute Power Force 7 was the ghost. Again, thanks for the content. Sincerely, Aaron. All right, Aaron. He wants himself signed cards. So we've got these. We will send these back to you. Next, we have a bubble mailer. What will be inside of the mailer? Inside, we have a top loader with a blue eyes toon dragon yes this is what i thought it was so this is actually for sale someone sent me this they wanted me to sell this for them you guys can purchase this if you would like so let's check out the condition you're gonna have to send me a message i'm sure there will be a lot of messages so first come first serve in that regard but let's see we've got a uh, pretty good condition overall let's see maybe there's a little bit of stuff going on over here yeah a little bit Man, first edition MRL though, that's that's pretty cool. That's a nice card. So if you guys are interested, hit me up on social media. Next, we have a box. What will be inside the box is the question. Hey, Ruxin, I'm a huge fan and love the channel. Hopefully you'll hit 100K subs by the time this gets you. We did it, we made it. All the stuff I sent you is for you to open and keep. What I sent you today, premium pack kit, volume one, OCG Korean exclusive product, which is from 2008. They contain one expansion pack, volume one, one premium pack, volume two, and one promo card, Spell Striker Secret Rare. A little background about the product you're opening. Premium pack, volume two, a GX reprint all hollow set. It's cool in itself, but still fairly easy to come by. The promo spell striker is cool because it's secret rare. I never printed the TCG, at least I think. I, I think it was a super rare in TCG. Expansion pack volume one is the real big hit with the product. It is a set that is basically extinct. There are literally no booster boxes for sale anywhere, and the set was never reprinted. Even the worst cobblers are probably worth a little something. Contains all the classic dual monsters similar to Dark Beginning One. Not exactly though, because DB1 had an OCG counterpart. Rarities includes common, regular rare, super rare, ultra rare, secret rare, and gold rare. Gold rare, cool. Fun fact: this set was the first time that gold rares were printed in Korea. No halls are guaranteed, so good luck with the pulls. I have more of these on my eBay page, so if you give a shout out, it'd be awesome. It's classic Yu-Gi-Oh! Collector. All right, guys, if you guys want some of these packs that I'm about to be opening, check out his eBay. There's like a lot of packs. All right, so Dominic, thank you again. This should be pretty fun. All right, we got them all out, so we have multiple spell strikers. This card does look really nice. I really like this card. Okay, we've got how many of these? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of these spell strikers. That's pretty cool. Let's get to this opening. He said this is all foil. Are they the same cards every time? Uh, did he say that? Wait, okay, how are you supposed to open these again? Uh, let's just open them like this. Yeah, this usually works out pretty good. Oh, look! We've got five Ds. Let's go. So we've got the, uh, oh, the Necro Shade. Very cool. Are these supposed to be backwards like this? Flute is summoning Karibo. All right, Barbaros. Uh, I can't remember that guy's name. Divine Knight is Shark or something like that. And then that guy. I, were they supposed to be backwards like that? Uh, but that's cool. So it looks like five Ds was about to come out here. Let me see. Are these going to be all the same cards or are they different every time? I kind of want to see. If they're the same cards, I guess we keep some of them sealed. But Because the OCG like to do that a lot. I, Korean sometimes has the same thing as OCG. Sometimes it doesn't. Okay, it's different cards. Cool. We've got Marshmallow on. Uh, so very similar to premium pack, it seems. It's like you get a lot of foils. It's like some of similar cards here. Well, this is premium pack, but the, the English premium pack, I should say. This is volume two, I guess. It is. I mean, it's probably just like the same set, just Korean version. Basically the same set. I mean, not completely. They're not always the exact same set, but they're usually kind of similar. All right, we've got five Ds again. We've got this guy again. Ooh, the Elemental Hero Flame Wing, man. That's probably a good one. Oh. Uh, we rucks and special that marshmallow on you gotta love the marshmallow. It's a very nice card I just love that guy. Yeah I'm thinking we do all the premium packs and then we get into those expansion packs because he said that's where the big boys are That's where the uh, the tough stuff is to get so let's get to that last gold rare is first time They're printed in Korea pretty exciting So Korean if just a background on like Korean cards if you're thinking of Korean you're like, oh, they're, they're really cheap, you know it's mostly the reprint sets that they just reprinted like in 2019 that are very cheap. There are still some really expensive Korean cards, especially in first edition. That's cool. An avian hollow. I love that. And then the wicked eraser. That looks really nice. I like that. So not all Korean cards are like completely cheap. So it just depends on what they are. Because if you buy like an LOB box that was printed two years ago, it's cheap because they printed a ton of them two years ago, not because it's Korean. And also, the Korean language is going to be a little bit less, you know, than, than English in North America because we speak English, not Korean. But that's just part of it. All right. Flame Wingman. Nice. Oh, the Soul Rope, I think. And then, oh, Wing Karibo Level 9. I like this. This is a cool pack. 
three more packs let's see what we can get here the problem is always trying to find prices on this stuff you can kind of find it on ebay but it's kind of like eh, it's it's a little bit weird it's like usually not a lot of sales data we've got the uh stardust dragon that guy again i don't know what that card is or that one burst in tricks and the oh what's he called something about the c i can't remember but now we've got percentage tricks and avian Two more premium packs. Now we need Sparkman and Clayman so we can have all the elemental gears. I'm assuming they're in here. They couldn't maybe not be, but it feels like they would be because the other two are. Let's see. We've got that. We've got this guy. Flute of Summoning Karibo. Love it. Ooh, the uh, Electrum. There we go. Elemental Gear Electrum and Necroshade. Very cool. Final premium pack before we get into these expansion packs. Let's see what we can pull. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> what is going on here? There we go. All right, let's not damage anything. We've got that. Can't remember that guy's name or that. What? Well, that's Ishark, I think. And then Wing Crew Bell level nine again. All right, those were sick. Now let's see what we can pull out of expansion pack. There's no hollow guaranteed out here, I think he said. So, yeah, it could be good, could be a bust. The last one had all hollows, so it's kind of like the opposite here. Come on. Yeah, these are a little bit uh, awkward to open, but we got it. We've got a Mechanical Chaser, cool. Mask of Darkness. We've got the Magician of Faith. Is that our rare? Okay, Cold Wave. UFO Turtle, does that mean that that is it? Okay, Harpy Lady Sisters, I like this. Yeah, he said it's like Dark Beginning. It's before that, so this is really cool. This is like old school throwback cards. Hopefully we can get a gold rare. That would be pretty cool. I guess that's the highest rarity. That's what I assume based on what he said. We've got a Sangin, Summon Skull, Upstart Goblin, the UFO Turtle, I feel like we're deeper into the why does this keep happening is this our foil oh it's jinzo oh my goodness jinzo himself has appeared this is an ultra rare i think this is one of the higher rare it goes what rare super ultra was there a secret and then gold or just gold wow okay we'll take that pull that seems pretty good I will attempt to find a price, but it is probably not going to happen. We will do our best Thunder Dragon. That's cool. Good start for our expansion back. So it was backwards. <laughs> is that on purpose? I feel like it's not on purpose. I've never, you know, seen it be on purpose, but it, I guess it would make sense. You know, oh, you don't see your foil. It doesn't ruin it. Okay. That is the right leg. Mask of Darkness. Wait, this is going to happen again. Oh, the Gold Rare Torrential Tribute. What in the world? Do they do this on purpose? Put the foils backwards? Gold Rare Torrential Tribute. Is this the highest rarity too? Whoa, that's awesome. That is so cool. Gold Rare from Expansion Pack. All right, we got to try and find some prices because I have no idea. These are really cool. We got Prohibition, uh, Magic Drain, and the Left Arm of the Forbidden One. This is going pretty well. Okay, all right. That is pretty awesome, guys. That is pretty awesome. Let's see what we can do. What can we pull? We've got... Sangin. Summon Skull. Prohibition. Sonic Bird. Okay. Is this going to be the foil again? It seems like it is. I, I feel like they're doing this on purpose. Let's see. Ooh, oh, Gravity Bind Super Rare. That's actually really cool looking. I love this. I think they had this in Yugi's World, I think, is a Super Rare. But this is obviously way before that. That is awesome. All right. I hope you guys are enjoying this opening because this is a lot of fun. I think that we need to pull something else epic. Also, we've already pulled what? Is there a Secret Rare? I guess we'll find out maybe because it seems like we pulled every rarity except maybe the Secret Rare. Will we get it? I don't know. Uh, we're about to find out. We've got the seven tools, the right arm of the forbidden one, and a rare nobleman across. I feel like they're doing this on purpose. I didn't know that this was a thing. You put the card back. I mean, it kind of makes sense, but it's also a little bit weird. <laughs> All right. Catapult turtle, summon skull, prohibition. There's our pull right there, I guess. Technically, we've got the banisher and the right arm and... Magic Jammer. Do we pull all the good cards right off the bat? Two more packs. Let's see what we can pull. We have... Uh, come out, please. Come on. Come on. It won't come out. There we go. We got it, Sangin. We've got UFO. There's our pull. They're all in different spots on the pack, too. This is very strange. I don't know how to feel about these. And a ceasefire. Cool. Final expansion pack volume one. This has been extremely fun Dominic. Thank you for sending these in you guys can go check them out If you're interested in getting some yourself 
Let's see what we can get in the final pack. We've already pulled a gold rare. We've pulled an ultra rare Genzo. I mean, it feels pretty good. All right, let's not spoil it like that because it's pointing that direction. Upstart, Sonic Bird. We've got this. We've got Call of the Haunted, Morphing Jar, and Harpy Lady Sisters. Here we go. Mystic Tomato Super Rare. That looks awesome. I love to have Mystic Tomato as a Super Rare. That's just a cool card. A little bit creepy. Got a, you know, scary face on a tomato. By the way, if you made it to this far in the video, you get to the epic giveaway. We're giving away all the pulls from those packs. So make sure you just like the video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite pull from that specific opening if you guys want to win those. Then we have another box. All right, this is a very wide note here, so let's try and uh, I'm going to cover it up. Pro try not to cover it up with my face cam, but I probably am. Rux and hey man, just want to say thanks for getting me back into Yu-Gi-Oh. Sent you a few cards. Hope you enjoy. At Unique Ol 38 I think that's what that says. Juan, I'll get you to collect Pokemans. All right, we'll see. Don't tell Rhyme you have a Lugia. Just remember Shiny Fates. Let's get Rux in 150k. All right, let's see what we got. All right, what did Juan send us? So, okay, that seems like it might be a PSA slab, which is pretty pretty crazy <laughs> let's see what we got this looks like pokemon he said he'll get me into pokemon so we'll see if it's pokemon and yugioh or just pokemon oh looks like there's some yugioh back there so we have ho-oh shiram the kyogre the palkia zekrom cosmog lunala i'm nailing these names uh groudon yveltal dialga Sol solgaleo professor's research the pikachu with the full art pretty cool zacian level x Jerludon? I don't know. I don't know that one. Lugia EX. Cool. Insect Queen. Oh, we got some Speed Duel. The Great Moth. The Cocoon of Evolution. And the Speed Duel. Pequeno Moth. I love to see it. <laughs> and finally, Juan sent us it, what seems like a PSA slap, which is a little bit scary. Like, it could, it could be anything here. Like, what is this going to be? Juan sent us something. He said, don't tell Ryan we have a Lugia. Think this is a Lugia? Oh, a Charizard GX. Okay, is, maybe he was talking about the first appearance Lugia. Wow, that's pretty cool. Juan, thank you very much. Charizard GX. I do not have this card, so this is a nice one to add into the collection. And our final package of the day from the legend, Alex Simo. Let's see what's inside. All right, we have a thank you card. This man's sending out thank you cards. Let's see what it says. Phil, just wanted to send you an early Christmas present as a small thank you for your contribution to the auction series this year. Yeah, we have contributed into helping him win a lot of games. <laughs> We've shared some good laughs. I know we'll have plenty more to come. Stay awesome. Merry Christmas. Alex, I will check that out. That's going to be worth millions one day. I bought a couple cards from Simo the other day. He told me he had some stuff for sale. So I was like, heck yeah, I want something. And here's what I bought. First of all, I bought a Ghost Rare Divine Knight Felgrand. This is first edition. I do not own this. I think I have like an unlimited one or something. So this one I really wanted. So when he said that he had this, I was like, heck yeah, you guys know I love Ghost Rares. It looks really nice. He sent me a video and everything, but that card looks really awesome. Yeah, just appreciate that Ghost Rare foil for a little bit. It's not the best set ever, but I really like the Ghost Rare from Shadow Spectres. The second card I bought is pretty nice. An ultimate rare, Allure of Darkness. Yes, this is that card, the card. It is pretty awesome. It does have some top edge wear, but man, this card is awesome. Check it out. Phantom Darkness, first edition. You don't see these every day. This is a pretty nice card. And I, when I saw it, I was like, yeah, I need this card. What I didn't know about was he was going to send us a Christmas gift, apparently. Thank you for being in the auction series. Let's see exactly what it is. It looks like it's a Millennium Shield. All right. So we have the other art, not the McDonald's art. This is from, this is Japanese. So this is pretty cool. I don't actually own this one. Check out this foil on it. Is it Hobby League? Is that the one? Almost like a laminated foil. Very cool. Love to see this. So this is a very cool card that I don't own. This one is really cool. Like, I've always wanted one of these, and it seems like he picked a really good one to give to me. An Ultimate Rare Genzo. Yeah, OCG has an Ultimate Rare Genzo. The TCG does not, but yeah, we're missing out a little bit because this card is absolutely amazing. Check this thing out. Ultimate Rare Foiling Genzo. Absolutely amazing card. This is definitely going in the collection. I'm so glad he sent us this. Thank you very much, Simo. I appreciate it. This is awesome. I really enjoyed the auction series. And this is, you know, it's an Ultimate Rare Genzo. I mean, come on. Thanks to everyone who sent something in for this mail day. This was an awesome one. There's incredible cards. There's some awesome packs to open. And don't forget to enter that giveaway for all those awesome Korean cards that we opened. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe for more epic content. Shout out to TCG Trust Cards, Tone Fo Show, Tomato Juice, Noah J, Wine Yu Gi Oh, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Duelist Kingdom Cards, and Spanky McFarlane. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.